to his hair, obviously, uh, because he is, hasn't cut it for the last 20 years, he says. So I thought it was a great gesture on his part. obviously done a lot of work in grazing sponsorship and he's raised over 5,000 for us and we're greatly, greatly uh, appreciative of that. We provide accommodation for homeless people. It began in 1979 when I came across a kid sleeping on the street age nine years of age. So we opened a small hostel for a few kids like him and then the numbers grew and grew and grew and we had to open more hostels and then we had to open hostels for different age groups. So all in all now we have uh, 13 hostels, three for young people under 18 and uh, the others are for young homeless adults. We have about 130 apartments for more long-term accommodation. Uh, we have four drug treatment centres and we have a drop-in centre. Well, first of all, I feel very proud that I've raised 5,000 euros for Peter McRae, which is the point of all this, and uh, that's important. Uh, secondly, I feel there's a strange guy on top of my uh, shoulders who I don't recognise, um, and the hair cut is very short, well, it's certainly shorter than, uh, than it was uh, an hour ago, so yeah, I feel proud and strange. Does it, do you think it suits you? I don't know, you tell me. I think it looks great. <laughs>